crunchy metaphors and odd poetic mumblings. <clears throat> odd poetic mumblings. <clears throat> I got stuff in my chest. I don't know if I'm coming down to something or if it's just allergies or whatever but there are times in the mornings when I wake up you know I get up early you know like 5 a.m. but there are times when I wake up in the mornings and I just I just I feel like my head's congested my chest congested you know and it takes me I don't know an hour to kind of work it out of me sometimes longer So I found out that my wisdom is in high demand today, believe it or not. Oh, I don't know if I should sit and talk because I don't exactly feel articulate. I do not feel articulate today. I've got a headache. I feel like I've got it all in my sinuses, my chest. Maybe I should have taken my allergy medicine. Citrazine. Citrazine is what I normally take, but it, for some reason I always leave the house forgetting to do that. I was, uh, my badge stuck in there. Oh, anyway. So, my subscribers. Some people would call subscribers a following. Some would consider their subscribers and viewers as pupils because a lot of people that do videos uh, kind of feel like they're you know full of wisdom and have something to teach something to some kind of knowledge to provide maybe some experience or I don't know just inner thoughts things like that <clears throat> Odd poetic mumblings. If I get on here and I just ramble and I mumble and I do it in a poetic way, am I considered a philosopher? Is that the word I'm looking for? Or just a rambling old man. Hmm. So if I continue to do this, am I mystifying? Did you catch that word? Mystifying. My pupils. Not the, not, 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 not what's in my eyes, but you know, when a teacher has uh, a captive audience, I guess you could say, you consider those your pupils, the folks in your class, your grasshoppers. <laughs> so, I got a cup of coffee and a bagel. I'm sitting here enjoying my cup of coffee and my bagel, and I put my headphones on, I set my camera up over there, well it's my cell phone camera, pointed it this way and I thought, huh, might make me a video today, might actually sit here and talk about something knowledgeable, as if I was knowledgeable. I would mystify my pupils.
by following. <laughs> You know, I watched a couple of videos about uh, these people. Uh, it's like they say that they, the first time ever in their life, they discovered YouTube and they created a, a YouTube channel and they got on there and posted one video and overnight had over a thousand subscribers. I don't believe it. I think they're full of. Um, you know, full of, I can't say on, on here. The other day, I was doing a lot of thinking. And I thought, well, I need to set a goal for each day. I need to accomplish that goal for each day. So the other day, I forget who I told, but I told somebody. I said, my goal today is to drink so much coffee, or uh, my goal today is to drink coffee until I have the runs, or the squirts, or something like that. <laughs> That's my goal for the day. Your diet. Whenever you have, like, health issues, colds, allergies, just feel funky in the morning when you get up and stuff like that. You always think, what did I eat? Or, or what did I do, you know? But most people think, oh, what did I eat to cause this problem? Like I got up uh, this morning, had a little bit of a headache. I was thinking, well, why do I have a headache? I did have some wine, but I didn't have... Uh, so much wine that it would give me a headache like this so my thoughts immediately went to what did I eat because this well I do remember we had some chips they were corn chips I believe and uh, you know dip cheese cheesy dip but we all, I also ate some chocolates some chocolate candies I was thinking, man, I had uh, tried to veer away from, you know, stuff like that. I uh, actually tried to do a 30-day carnivore diet where I was, uh, you know, considering just doing eggs, just eggs, water, salt on my eggs, of course. And I was into that. I think maybe eight, nine days of just mostly eggs. And uh, and then things changed. And I, <laughs> I, I haven't eaten many eggs. Uh, not, not, nothing like I thought I was going to. So my 30-day my carnivore diet thingy just kind of went to the wayside. So I'm going to have to reschedule that for another time. Um, I need to I need to read my uh, horoscope. All right, so th this is the weekly horoscope uh, for for uh, this week. Uh, this is. Uh, I am um, quite strategic. <clears throat> the week begins on Sunday, November 3rd, when Mars in Cancer opposes Pluto in Capricorn. Later, Mars enters the sign of Leo, where it will remain until June 17th, 2025. Mars will be retrograde from December 6th, 2024 to February 23rd. 2025. An effort you've been making or some work you've been doing hits a block. And while this could be very frustrating for many, the Pisces way is to let it go. I just let it go. Um, 
Today, releasing something to the universe will give you the freedom to find a way around an obstacle like water flowing around a rock. On Monday, November 4th, the Sun in Scorpio trines Saturn in Pisces in your house of the physical body and confidence. Today, you could be stronger than usual. Pisces, you might be lifting weights or working out. <laughs> I don't I doubt that. I don't, maybe taking a walk here or there. But you also might be making good decisions. Good decisions. Got to make good decisions. Have to research. Do a lot of thinking. Apply common sense and make good decisions okay it says but you also might be making good decisions and showing others what you're capable of today you're punching above your weight not really sure what that means ah. you know sometimes when I read my horoscope I kind of wonder you know did uh, you know? Did the universe get things right? I I, I just kind of wonder. So I got a twelve-minute video here. Only only planned on just a, a couple of uh, minutes. <laughs> Talk to you later.